Yeah, Kevin, noticed the defense was huddling more <clears throat> yesterday, obviously, with the communication. Was that something that came from the players or from the coaches? And is that something that might even be mandated moving forward? Yeah, you're supposed to huddle every play ex except when they're on the ball. It's very important to do, especially when you're at home, when our crowd is as loud as it is. Uh, you got to make sure that, that you're huddling. What changed in the second half for you guys? You gave up 197 yards uh, in the first half, and then the second half held them to just 111, and I think they were like one for nine uh, on third down. So uh, what was the difference between the first and second half for you? Yeah, I think a, a couple things. Uh, obviously, uh, players did a nice job in the second half executing uh, what we're asking them to do. Uh, they made a few plays in the first half and, and we got them cleaned up, made a few adjustments uh, in terms of how we were defending certain plays of those type of things. So natural course of uh, adjustments in, in an NFL game. It looked really bad with Anthony. I mean, and you kind of alluded to the fact that what if it's uh, serious last night? Do you have, a, you know, a fear? Do you guys fear that this could be season ending or do you have, you know, some thought that it, it probably is a long term thing? Yeah, I mean, when you see, obviously, Mary Kay, the attention on the field and, and what, yeah, it obviously didn't look good. Uh, I don't think, I think that's obvious. Uh, we're hoping against hope for Anthony. Um, talked to him last night. He's a huge, huge, huge part of our football team. Uh, what he brings to us on the field, off the field. So uh, we'll see what the MRI holds. Um, but past that, you know, I'll just wait to see. And, and how will you adjust, you know, from a uh, communications field general, you know, sort of green sticker standpoint without him, if you have yeah, to? Yeah, well, it does give me the opportunity to talk about Jacob and, and how he played last night, which I thought he was outstanding. Uh, so Jacob would be our green dot moving forward. He does a nice job of communicating, uh, you know, the two plays he made late in the game with, with the blitz and the sack and then the PBU uh, were, were outstanding. And, and I'm just proud of Jacob because, uh, you know, you, you wish you had, you could put 12 guys out there uh, for the defense and, and he's just, we listed him as a starter with Anthony early because those guys, I really think they're, they're, they're both capable of starting. Now with Anthony out, likely uh, Jacob goes in there and, and we have a ton of confidence in him um, and he plays like he plays last night. Uh, I think he can really affect the game. Thank you, Mary Kay. Ashley Bastock, you're next.